This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover scoreboards. The first thing you will need to do is open up the map DM Morpheus and then you need to find the scoreboard that is inside this map which is right there and you can see the scoreboard texture is here, but this is what you need, the actor that is called Scrolling Message Texture. Right click on the actor, select Properties, open up Scrolling Message Texture, and here in the Font field, you want to select that and copy it. And for now, I'll just put it here so you can see, but you must copy that so it's in your clipboard. Now you can close this map. So in your map, simply go to the Actor Class Browser, open up Info, and here you will see Client Scripted Texture. Select that and click on Scrolling Message Texture. So then you right click on the ground and it looks like a little griffin head there. And in here, when you come in to the properties, again by right-clicking on this, select properties, then you will need to open up the scrolling message texture and here where it says font, this little ellipsis button doesn't do anything and that's why you need to paste what you copied from Morpheus. Everything else you'll be able to do in your own map. Okay, so I've already made one, so let me just delete this one for now. The next thing you will need to do is you will need to grab this special texture by going to the texture browser and opening up a package called scripted. And then here, I'm just going to expand this up, uh, just so you know it's called Message Scroll, and all of these textures are alphabetical. So I'm going to scroll down to the M's. Right there. So you will select this texture called Message Scroll 3. There's another one here called Message Scroll 2. But uh, as you can see, it's 256 by 32. And so when you come back to your scrolling message texture, click on that, come back up here to the texture itself, the client scripted texture. Here you click on use, okay, because you've selected it in the browser and there it is there. So it's called scripted texture scripted message scroll 3. All the rest of the properties that you'll need to adjust are here under scrolling message texture. Here this is do you want all capital letters? I, I selected true because I feel it's more visible in the game to have capital letters. And then this one you just leave alone. Here's the font that you copied from Morpheus. The next thing is the font color. So again click on the ellipsis you will find a color picker so I just picked yellow so you click on yellow click OK and there it is and then here you can change this number so you can experiment with that I just used 150 and then a little description about the scrolling message there are some variables here which I copied from Morpheus I'm sure that there are probably some other variables that you'll be able to use if you do some research on Unreal Script. I personally don't know anything about Unreal Script, so I'm just copying what I see in Morpheus. So basically you have your percentage LP, which means leading player, then the text that you want, so I'm saying leads with, and then the other variable is percentage LF, which is leading number of frags. So that's all I have with the, I just put a few dots there, but that's basically my message. And then for the scroll width, you can imagine how long of a scroll you want before the message will repeat. So if you increase this number in increments of a thousand, then it's going to be a much slower message. 
So you have to really play around with these settings to see how fast or how slow you want the message. Personally for me, if I'm playing in the game, I don't have much time to take a look and wait for the, the scoreboard to update. So I'd rather have it quicker than, than not. And so you have it at 1000 and that's all you need. I mean, the next thing you need is a brush. So you have to build a, a nice brush for your scoreboard. Here it's 256 by 32. So that's 256 units wide, 32 high. And you're going to select that same, the same texture that you put into the actor. You're going to put on that surface. And it needs to be unlit as well. So let's take a look at that in game. So looking at it now, you can see that there's probably some adjustments that you'll have to make. I feel that this is probably not going fast enough, and I made the width too long, so there's too much of a delay from, from the time that the, the message refreshes. Again, you could make a longer brush. You could have this brush go longer than 256 units, but keeping the height at 32. And so you make adjustments to that, and also, of course, you'll have to be aware that this scoreboard has to fit the theme of your map.